Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to the Mothership. Let's see what our messages are for today. Part of the reading, we have the Strength card. We have the High Priestess. And we also have, have the Hanged Man. So this is an important time, a lot of big themes happening, and this is about your growth right now. Uh, these are about uh, kind of bigger, bigger stages that you go through in your life. So this is about you having that balanced polarity where you're integrating your feminine and masculine aspect, and you're operating from a place of true power where you're standing in your power. And this is also a place where you're having that higher connection with your own divinity and you are focused on what your own truth is. And this is your, your truth from your heart and your intuition. So having that balanced focus of knowing, knowing the truth, seeing the truth, being open to the truth, having those higher messages come in. And for some of you, this is a time to uh, just kind of do a 180 as well. This is transformation, but this is also sacrifice. So this is knowing what you want um, and making the necessary sacrifices to achieve it. So some of you are needing to keep yourself in balance right now as you receive these, especially like higher light codes and information coming in. But this is all about changing your perspective and being very centered in your intuition. This is understanding things from an intuitive space as well. Divine Feminine, today you have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Four of Pentacles reversed, the Page of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Swords reversed, and the Queen of Swords. So some of you are getting brand new offers. This can be you starting your business as well. This can be some of you starting your mission and really putting your twin flame path first. This can be just a very abundant and happy time. But some of you also are beginning to make changes coming out of lack mentality is one. Um, the other is giving in order to receive. And some of you just aren't worrying about this anymore. You're focusing more on your partnership. And this can be loving yourself as well, having that union within yourself. And also... This, um, for some of you who are newer to these reads, this is you actually beginning to work on the Twin Flame Union Package so that you can put yourself first and put your Starseed mission first. Um, but some of you are just getting very centered in your truth and you're not putting up with anything extra. For the Divine Masculine today, you have the Page of Cups reversed, you have the Four of Swords reversed, Seven of Cups reversed, King of Pentacles, you have the Moon and the Three of Pentacles. Remember, if you are feminine or masculine, that doesn't really matter because we all have both polarity within us. And if you apply both sides of these readings to yourself on the internal level, this will just help and balance yourself out. So you may be in a place of just being on top of your game, mastering your success. Uh, this can be also making wise investments I'm hearing. For some of you, this can be pregnancy. Or if it's not pregnancy, it can be wanting to have a baby with somebody. But this is a place where you are 
you want to work with others and have that success, have that creativity, have that abundance come in. So some of you maybe have been going over a lot of options but really not knowing what to choose. And for many of you, this is because the information isn't available right now. Uh, things are uh, maybe in the dark right now. Things are being hidden from you or you just don't have the whole picture yet. So this is a time when maybe you're considering offers, but you really need to take a break. Everything within you is telling you to wait, to stop, to take a time out for yourself. Some of you are resisting this. But this is not a time to make any action because if you act right now, you're not going to know all the information. This can even be someone hiding things from you, but this can also be um, not having the full array of choices because you need to look at your internal work and what needs to be done on yourself. So you can take that how it applies. For many of you, I would suggest booking an image reading with me today so that we can look into your shadowy aspect and see uh, just what's in there that needs to be addressed, what needs to be worked on. And this is all about you. This is about investing in yourself. When I'm able to see uh, the places within you that need work, this is where you apply the work so that it's like a shortcut for you. You are using my awareness and my eyes to see what's within your psyche. And at times we all have blind spots and we always need somebody else's eye. Um, we have, even those of us who are very intuitive, um, you don't always, you can't always see your own life. You can see others very easily, um, but it's important to call on assistance as well. So again, this is not a time to act. This is a time to tap into you, to do your shadow work, uh, to bring things out in a creative way right now, but really beginning to integrate your shadow. Let's get a few more cards out. By masculine, we have the Eight of Wands reversed, Queen of Wands, again, the Four of Swords reversed. So. Take a time out. Don't avoid it. Don't rush yourself. This isn't a time to force your will right now. Or force communication either. This is a time to go within. Uh, this is, again, that reiteration of you don't have the information that you need to make these decisions right now. And for some of you, this is also about your passion. Maybe not knowing even who to choose right now. So again, time to wait, time to go within, and time to not force things. Some of you are just wanting communication from your person as well. Um, and maybe feeling that. But this is more about divine timing and this isn't a time to know. Divine Feminine, we have the Queen of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. So some of you might be feeling trapped because maybe you missed an offer. Some of you just need to heighten your awareness and to look around yourself and have a different perspective. Come out of this place where you have confusion and where you feel um, restricted. Some of you just need to open up to your intuition and begin looking from the eyes of truth. I do have the 13 Moonstone Cosmic Tarot Oracle Workbook. Uh, you can see in my playlist many of the readings I've done with these cards, the 13 Moonstone cards. 
Uh, but this is available to you as a workbook, and this will help you to open up through your psychic center, as well as learning more about the tarot and how you can create your own divination system. So this is about you remembering who you are, remembering the beautiful, harmonious path that you're on, and having everything that you have to offer others, you're offering this to yourself as well. Some of you, this is just uh, making those offers to others and not being received as well. So take that how it applies, but this is about you. This is about you doing that self-love, that self-care, that self-nurturing, and having the awareness of those around you who also um, may have an opportunity for you. This is about getting out of that place of boredom and apathy and feeling bad for yourself. Let's get a few guidance cards. Divine Masculine, you have Don't Back Down. This is standing up for what you believe is right. This is putting your twin flame path first and the truth first and claiming your twin flame birthright. This is about having strong boundaries. And it doesn't mean that you need to be force, forceful. It's just you need to be firm within who you are and what you want. Uh, because for the next cycle coming up, this will be a very important part of what you're creating. So again, this is where you do you. Uh, and you don't, you don't, you don't waver, you don't give in. You just stick to your twin flame path. This is where you really know what your contract is also. So if you don't know what your Twin Flame contract is, again, I suggest you look in the description box and get the Twin Flame Moon Package. And if you have that one, move on to the Master Package. The heart of the reading today, we have Unconditional Love, Mary Magdalene. Hi, Mary. This is where you get into that space of loving yourself, loving your path, loving your lessons, and dropping all your expectations of others, dropping your attachment to outcomes, judgments, criticisms. This is where you come away from the places that you were conditioned to believe something, believe this, believe that. If this, then that. If I give you this, then I expect that. This is where you drop all of that. And you just center yourself in the higher vibration of unconditional love. This is you being a twin flame. Divine Feminine, you have past life. So for some of you, this is a time where you are working through your karma. This can be your ancestral karma as well. This can also be... Wrapping things up from other timelines, clearing up fragmentations. This can be lessons that you have carried over into this lifetime that you still need to work on. So for some of you, um, I would suggest again that you get an image reading. Uh, because many times we're not able to clear something up because we're not looking in the right area or we're not seeing that information uh, for what it is so when we're not clearing up our lives in this way and we're not cleaning up uh, what we need to work on and doing our healing in this way uh, we can continue to repeat and repeat and repeat the cycle until we just get to that point of not knowing what to do anymore so for some of you not all of you there's a need to understand that what you're working through is part of a bigger lesson that you maybe have had in other times as well, and you still need to work on it and clear it up and release it completely in this time, in this time frame. 
and that's why it's showing up for you.